What's going on guys, Ram Comic here. So today I pretty much want to talk to you guys about what was posted on the Modern Warfare 3 Facebook page. It was Robert Bowling talking about prestiging and stuff like that. And before then, there was actually, you know, no information really known. We knew there was a few things called prestige tokens and you could, you know, reset your stats once you prestige and uh, pretty much the same old thing, like get an extra credit class. But also, there's these other things like unlocking gear and double XP, and I'll explain that later in the video, but I just want to say hope you guys enjoyed my intro. I spent a few uh, hours on that, so if you guys enjoyed it and actually uh, thought it was cool, I would appreciate that because it took me, you know, probably a solid three to five hours. You know, that's just me every now and then picking it up again and masking and putting stuff. Just thought I'd do something new and exciting, pretty much using that same old uh, sound bite that a lot of people use. Machinima uses it. I know... Um, how can I not even remember this? Who? Epic Mealtime use it. Can't believe I forgot that. They use it a lot in the background stuff. Like, it's like an epic, you know, build-up type of thing. So I hope you guys just thought that was kind of cool. I did put some effort into that. But pretty much, guys, prestiging. So, so far as what I know, there's only 10 prestiges in Modern Warfare 3. So I really thought that they were going to be infinite because, you know, the last ones have gotten bigger, like 15 and stuff like that. So why not just go even bigger, but they've gone back to pretty much what, where they came from, their roots. You know, they go back to just having 10. So that's that's cool. That's solid. And every time you're prestige, you actually get a token. And that token can be used for, you know, multiple things like the original. Just get an extra creative class. And there's other ones like double XP for two hours. You can actually get double XP for your weapon. So if you guys didn't know, your weapon has its own leveling up system where you unlock proficiencies and stuff like that. So if you want to really... Uh, you know level up that gun quicker then you would use that there's also one unlock gear so you could choose one thing out of all your creative classes and take that with you on the whole prestige so if there's some really good weapon you know that would be pretty smart to take over to the next one or maybe you really want to take a certain kill streak with you onto the next one so that's pretty much how that works there's also once I think once you hit 10 you have an option of resetting all your stats if you really wanted to and do it all over again so if the game really did bore you that much you would do that and I don't think there's gonna be any shortages of uh, double XP like if all the DLC is coming every month to the COD Elite members then I could see you know a double XP weekend every month and a lot more often especially with the um, you know Mountain Dew and Dorito the little Frito uh, you know deal they got going you get double XP that way so we're gonna be uh, you know leveling the hell up quick as hell with that double XP so I don't see anybody having a problem playing this game leveling up and basically those first people that get the game and maybe have double XP are going to have a small advantage, but that will cut short pretty much after Christmas, I would say. I would say at the pretty much when the game first comes out, you know, everybody that uh, spends hours and buys the game right at midnight is going to, you know, have fun and uh, rape all the noobs and stuff like that. But then once after Christmas, something like that, Christmas is when it gets fun again, when all the new people buy it. Um, and then you just have a whole bunch of high KD games and stuff like that. But, you know... That's pretty much after Christmas. I think it starts to wear down. Definitely uh, not that many more people buy the game because that's the big, big uh, boost in their sales right there is right at Christmas and stuff like that. If you celebrate the holiday or not, I actually do. But um, that's actually really, really cool. And there's also another thing. That don't forget, I forgot to almost mention this. You'll actually get a prestige token for every time you've prestiged ever and every past Call of Duty. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be linked to your name. So if you like started a new name or something like that, I wouldn't see that carrying over. I would think it'd be on one name. So if I had, you know, random comic, if I created a new name, I don't think any of my past prestiges would matter. Which is unfortunate, but uh, what are you going to do? So that actually made me prestige. So I never prestiged in Modern Warfare 2. So I prestiged just to get an extra token. And I hope that's how I heard it. You know, if you prestige in a past one, you'll get a token to it. And that just means, you know, I'll be able to get more creative classes. Because if you think of it, if you're going to prestige 10 times, you'll get 10 tokens. So that means that you're going to miss out somewhere. Like, you might not get um, as many creative classes if you want. But if that is true, you get, you know, 10 tokens. Then your creative class means you could potentially get, I don't know. Does that mean you're going to be able to get 15 creative classes? So if I want to, I could choose creative class every single time. I don't see that being the option. But it's definitely something to think about. They're going to stick with that 10 creative class. Uh, there's no reason whatsoever for you to ever need 15 classes. But there's all that other cool stuff. Like they have these packages called, uh, I think they were called like regular package, uh, 
hardened package and veteran package and that's basically going to go right to pretty much i think the disc that you buy so if you buy the standard one you're only going to be able to buy the standard package if you buy the hardened edition you'll probably get the hardened package and veteran i'm pretty sure is going to be the first people that buy elite if you like you know activate your thing bef before this date you'll become a veteran member so i picture that's what that is but thanks for watching guys Definitely check out that video. I'll probably link it to you guys in the description. But uh hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoyed the intro. I thought that was pretty cool. But thanks for watching guys. Peace.